My name is Doug. I'm Stefan. I'm Zachary, and this is the Super Rock and Soccer Boy. Going out like a Montana. Many killers on the hands. Legacies, fun, way you see. Pockets full, done. Selling ball, can. Men on the march like run. The chopper go out for granted. The Super Rock and Soccer Ball demonstrates many physics properties. One of them is mass. Mass is measure is the measure of matter in an object. To demonstrate this property, we will weigh the ball on the scale. The scale shows the mass of the ball. The formula for mass is density times volume. So if the density is 5,000 kilograms centimeters cubed and volume is 800 centimeters cubed, that means mass is 4 kilograms. So if you multiply these two numbers, you will get 4. The next physics property is speed. Speed describes how far something goes for a certain distance. It's all used as property because you can kick the ball for a certain amount of time that goes a certain distance. The formula for speed is distance over time. So if the ball travels 10 meters and it took 2 seconds for the ball to travel those 10 meters, then the speed would be 5 meters per second because if you divide 10 by 2, you would get the answer 5. Another property for the Super Rock and Soccer Ball is acceleration. Acceleration is the speed at which the velocity changes. Stefan will show us an example of this. The ball uses this property because depending on how hard you apply to the kick, it will change the velocity of the ball. Acceleration is velocity final minus velocity initial over time. If the ball accelerates at from 2 meters per second to 8 meters per second over 3 seconds, the Acceleration is 2 meters per second because 8 minus 2 is 6 and 6 over 3 is 2. The next two properties are about energy. The first is potential energy. Potential energy is energy due to position. When the ball is in the air, it has potential energy. The top of the ball's arc is the place where the ball has no potential energy. The formula for potential energy is mass times the force of gravity times height. So if the mass, if the mass is four kilograms, and the force of gravity on Earth is nine point eight meters per second squared, and the height is five meters, the answer would be one hundred and ninety six joules. Because if you multiply four plus nine point eight times five, you get the answer of one ninety six. The other property about energy is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy due to motion. The ball uses this property because when the ball is moving in a downward motion, it has kinetic energy co converted from potential energy. The formula for kinetic energy is one half times mass times velocity squared. So if the mass is four kilograms and the velocity is four meters per second, you square the velocity, which would equal 16, and then multiply it times the mass, which equals 64. You then take one half of 64, which would equal 32 joules.